Hello everyone and welcome to another Computer Build. This is the second episode of the series featuring the $750 computer. The first part of the series is a configuration guide where I go over each of these parts in detail and discuss why I chose each of them and some alternatives you could consider. I have already uploaded this, so if you want an in-depth discussion of all the parts I have on the desk, it'll be linked below. In this video, I will be building this computer with a couple of friends and discussing the process as I go through it. And in case you forgot about or haven't watched the config guide yet, here are the parts for this computer as configured. Links to all the parts from both Amazon and Newegg will also be available down below. So with all that out of the way, let's get to work. Actually, that's fine. Okay. It's just, just too easy. Yes, yes, yes. Right? I, well, that was much more straightforward than last time. Last time was, don't compare it, man. Could you run down like the whole process, what we're gonna do until the end? Sure. So we have our case. We just what we're doing right now is to take out the, the extra parts, like the screws and the standoffs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, because every other part will need some of these. Right. So we just want to make sure we clear everything. Okay. Uh, the next part would be to do the motherboard. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have to unbox it, right? Get, get everything ready, yep. and then we put the CPU in, mm -hmm. and then we put the cooler on top of that, and then we put the RAM, the SSD, and then we could put it in the case. Yeah. We have to put in the power supply, plug everything in. And then the last part is GPU. Best for last. Mm. Mm. All right, let's go. So this is the ASRock B450M Pro 4. It's a micro ATX board, which is the first time I'm working with your smaller than average board. <laughs> it's cheaper than the normal Pro 4, which is why I chose it. Here are the receipts. Oh. These are oh. the other parts. So we have oh. our SSD, yes. 500 gigs. It's a good quality drive. And we have our RAM, non-RGB, but then again, it's cheap. And it's a good speed, DDR4 3200, which is the speed I recommend for Ryzen. And here, wow. The DUC. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty good board, surprisingly cheap. You know, originally, when I asked the vendor how much it was, I, I got it from this vendor who was selling it supposedly at the cheapest price. So I asked them how much it was, and then uh, they said it was $100 more than it was originally. Okay. So I was like, are these guys trying to rip me off? And then so I, I, I showed them a picture yeah. of their price listing at the regular price that I remember. And like, did you change the price? And then they said, yeah, the vendor changed the price. And then can I have it at the original price? So they said they'll ask the vendor and I got it for the original price. Jeez, man. Bargain. Okay. So first we have our CPU unboxing baby. This is the Ryzen 5 3600 because the 2600 was out of stock. Are you <laughs> serious? <laughs> it was, seriously. I couldn't find them anywhere. I searched. Well, 3600 is better because it's newer. 3600 is better. It's actually almost identical to my 8700K in that machine. I'm glad my my acquaintance my actually agreed on this. I know, right? Yeah, he said, I can pay a few hundred more bucks for it. Okay, cooler <laughs> installation. Well, I'll need to see how we install this. This is the Ray Stealth. It's oh, it's smaller. It is smaller. It's not as tall, and there's no RGB on it's it. It's not as heavy, though. It's not as heavy, right? Oh, and it doesn't yeah. have a copper core like on the uh, Wraith Prism cooler, which I showed okay. last time. So here we have uh, a six-core, twelve-thread CPU, which is very good, especially for the price, two hundred US dollars right now. I'm wondering why two second gen is not that good. It is good. It is still good, right? It is still good. Right. Okay. It's gonna beat it in like a lot of applications still. So first your CPU, well, you want to lift this retention arm. So careful, lift it and open the socket. So what does the, oh, so the retention arm just holds the CPU. Yeah, because you notice yeah. how this socket moves slightly to the side. Oh, I see it. And the CPU at the bottom actually has thousands of pins, 3, 000, uh, 1,331 pins to be exact. How do you know? Jeez. Wow. I, I searched that. <laughs> so these pins will slot into these holes okay. and you press this retention arm so they're Snut, snut. Gotcha. Right. So that's our first thing. Do so, the honor, Marcus. Do so we have we this, uh, well, this looks like an L-shaped thing on this side. True. And that's where, that's where the gold triangle on our CPU would sit. Right, so we gold have a, a very, very tiny gold triangle. Yeah, I see that. And that will sit like this. 
It has to match wherever this little shape will be. Okay. All right. right. Okay. Let's put it in. So it will sit like that, with the rise in text oriented vertically for some reason. Your first rise in five. First rise in five, right? Boom. There we go. Wiggle to make sure it's snug. And nice. we lower the retention arm. Done. On this one. Beautiful. That's done. All right. Thermal paste. Mm. Oh, no, no, I forgot. Do we need thermal case for that? Actually, before we do that, let's install the RAM, RAM the SSD side. first. Okay. Yeah. RAM it Just is. to make sure that we have enough space. AMD's coolers actually don't take up much more space than the socket itself, so... Uh, basically, you can have four really tall modules in here and you'll be okay. But we only have two because we're only using 16 gigs, which is really enough for, you know, gaming and some multitasking. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that. Look at that. It's all black, no RGB, but it's cheap and it's a good kit. It's simple. It's simple, right? Simple so, and good. Good for money. This is one of the easier things to do, so I think you will be able to do it. <laughs> it's the okay. first and third, or is it the same for uh, Let's do the second and fourth one. Aye, aye, aye. Right? Uh, okay, so second you want basically to match the notch, which means, well, you, you put it like this. So you can only use, well, uh, when you have two RAM sticks and four slots, you don't want to put them next to each other. Otherwise, you'll use single channel RAM, which lowers your bandwidth and your data transfer rate, and you'll have reduced performance. Mm. It could be very little, or it could be none at all, or it could be a lot, like maybe 30%. Right? So, just to be safe, we'll use single, uh, we'll use double channel RAM, which is alternating slots. Okay, so you want me to do 2-4 or 1-3? 2-4 uh, would be okay. 2-4, okay. Right? You should hear a click. Once you just a bit more. Really? Yes. There you go. There you go. I was okay. like, I was. I, I thought I was gonna break the mother. It's okay. It's, it's, it's okay. a bit scary, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, why, man? Given that you've done this before as well, I think you'll be okay with that. Did I do it last time? Yes, you did. You did one. There, there you go. go. Okay. Ram installed, and it looks pretty good actually. It matches the general aesthetic of the board as well with these uh, kind of shipping container-like indents. Uh, so yeah, Ram installed. That's great. Uh, and now we have. A new SSD which I've actually never used. The I know VA. I know Western Digital makes pretty good drives. I have one of their high-end drives. This is kind of an entry-level drive, but it's actually not so bad for the price. Because look, typically your entry-level NVMe SSD, like the Intel 660P, yeah. the 500 gig drive. Uh, note that smaller drives tend to be slower than the bigger ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So the smaller drive, the Intel 660P, are, is around 1500 to 1000 megabytes per second. This one has 2400 and 1500, two times. which is a solid two-time jump. So I think it's a pretty good drive, and it's the same price as the 660p, which makes this even better for the value. Here we go. Western Digital. Western Digital. WD. And it's blue. Uh, not sure why they made it blue. Maybe it's to match the name, but whatever. W -D -W -D. So that's your... Wow. That's actually the first 500 gig drive I've seen. That's, that's all the storage you have. That this little block contains this all little the, block contains yeah. everything. It's the flash storage. As as you get to a bigger drive, you'll have more modules of this in here. Right. But since we have the smallest capacity, we'll, we'll only have one of these. That's and then we have the controller, and we have it's basically like a little computer that tells okay. that tells this SSD where to organize all the data. Quick question: When it comes to the reason why this is being a higher speed compared to like the older normal versions, is it because of the material inside or the structures inside? Actually, compared to, well, they also make the SATA SSDs, okay. right? They actually have the same thing inside, except this one uses a different standard, which is which tends to be more expensive, okay. right? It actually has the same material inside. So what you find in here may be identical to another SATA SSD that's also, you know, kind of mid-range or high-end, right? But this is faster because it uses a different standard. That's all, that, that, that's all there is to it. Underneath, it's all NAND. NAND gates inside. Right, so true. this is one of the easiest SSDs to mount because you don't have any cables. Like normal SATA SSDs, like they're, they're quite big and bulky and you have one cable for data, one cable for power and you need to manage that. But this one, it's a card that slips in. XP. Wow, this is quite tight. You, you want to put it... Hang on. Take your sure. time, man. Take your time. Should be okay. Do we need to apply extra force? Right, there we go. It's a bit more than I remember, but... It's okay. Let's just put that down there. I'll need a magnetic screwdriver because I've lost a couple of these in my life. And I don't want to. Oof, man. Oof. Okay. Oh, that's great. Just press it down. I got you. 
That insertion, baby. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> okay, so our SSD done, our RAM, RAM is done. So CPU. now we can put on the big cooler. Big hey, cooler. there you go. Ta -da. So this is the Wraith Stealth. You got this already, right? That's paste, that's paste, by the way. Okay. Just paste. So before before we do anything, let's just make sure that we're actually mounting it properly. Well, you want to remove that first, don't you? Piece. We do. Is there anything else in there? Nothing. It's okay. No, that's it. Have to so we have to it. put it like that. You see where the screws line up? Yeah. Like Shall we remove the screws? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Not so slowly, fast. Slowly. Not so fast. Okay. So you want to invert it just so we don't, you know, touch the paste. I'm just going to put it back here. So these, right, we want to remove these black plastic tabs. And if we lift the board, okay. Look for Just uh, can you help me get the foam off? There's a back plate, right? I see that. Right. So we'll need to keep that on. Keep that on. Gotcha. Okay. Because that's what's going to hold our cooler in place. Shall I? Shall I begin? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So test. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Right. No jiggling whatsoever. So that's our cooler, our RAM, our SSD, our whole, CPU installed. The whole motherboard is done. So the whole motherboard is done. And now we can put the standoffs in, which are kind of like this. It's it's where you put the screw in for the case. May I know, what do you do with all these other slots and yeah? Well, there's a variety of things you can do with them. So these, you can put GPUs in, graphics cards like this one. Yeah. right? Or you can put something else like um, an SSD. Okay. SSDs also kind of look like GPUs sometimes if you put like a lot of them in one row. Like you can get uh, like eight terabyte SSDs in this form factor. It'll look kind of like a GPU and some of them will even have fans so you can put that. You can also put network cards. I have one in mind because for some reason the LAN port for my motherboard didn't work the first day I got it. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. So we have to buy a uh, PCIe expansion oh, card to put right over here. Actually work. So, oh wow. Are what? you kidding? They're applied already. Look at that. What is that? They're motherboard stand-ups. They're applied as well. What is up with that? Hey, hey don't complain. You gotta I'm not complaining. But why great. does my high-end case not come with that? How about mine? <laughs> Yours did. Did they did? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I okay, so now we need already. the... Now we need the IO shield. Yay. Some motherboards actually come with this already hooked up. Some of the higher-end ones. Uh, IO shield. Yeah, actually you don't really need this, it's just to make it look a little better around the back. Oh, well, that's a bit tricky. Oops. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's alright. Wow, that's not sticking on this one. Oh, that's actually a... Wait, 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 wait. There, okay. there, there it is. Hey. Well, that corner. But yeah, okay. Yeah, it's all, it's all okay. So let's just count our standoffs. We should have one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. That looks okay. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we have eight standoffs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Okay, so now with your motherboard, you slide it in at a 30 degree angle. Oop. Beautiful. It's a little bit trickier because we have this annoying optical disc drive in the way. Wow, this is a little bit tricky. Okay. Yep, 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 you got it. All right, so let's just grab it by the corner. Yes. There, holes. Yes, yes, perfect. Just drop it down. Yes. Okay, so now, now that we have our motherboard installed, we have RAM uh, and all that crap. Yeah. It's time for the, uh, the power supply. Let's do that. Zip piece up. You want to introduce the power supply? Okay, so this is the CX450M, which is basically identical to what I used in the previous build video, the CX650M. So this one is less powerful, but it's basically the same thing. M means semi-modular, which means you can remove some of the cables, uh, which is good because it makes building a lot easier than having all the cables stuffed in there and just hidden in a little rat's nest somewhere in a case that you don't want to show off to your friends. Wow, this time it's not on the side. What? Dude, look. Oh, it is on the side. <laughs> I'm not the way. I thought that I got tricked by that bit. <laughs> that, we, we, we struggled to open this one last time. Really? Well. Yeah. yeah. So these cables are attached to the power supply. You'll need them 
which is the 24-pin uh, ATX, which will sit here, right here. I see. And then the 8-pin CPU, which will sit right here. Okay. You need them anyway, so I think you know having them included is no bad thing. Okay. These are your extra cables, which you can plug in at your own will. So now, let's flip this over, and then we can get to work on Careful. this. Careful. Okay, Sorry. so power supply in, so Nothing. now comes the most annoying part of any computer build. Can you guess? Um, uh, you know, you know, it, 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 um, I guess the most annoying part is just finishing the computer. Which part? What do you think? So we have the, we have the battery, we have the this, we have the, the graphics. <laughs> The graphics, the graphics is the not yet. Oh, the graphics is it's the easiest. there, right? So Why don't you take hard. a look at the back of the case and tell me what needs to be done? Yeah, what is going on there? Ooh, how do you fix these lines? Yes, yeah. that's the worst. That's the first. Okay, question so let's let's actually start. Should, should we just in. pull all these back? Okay. Okay, so we have our two fans plugged in, we have our ATX and CPU power, we have our CPU cooler fan plugged in, we have the, we have, uh, well we have our power LED, HD LED, LED and all that power button crap. And then we have our audio, and we have our USB. That's pretty much it actually. Yes! So, uh, let's organize this first and then, graphics card. That's like the, always the most exciting bit. That's the most exciting bit. So yeah. this, my friends, is the GTX 1660 Super. No RTX here, but RTX cards are expensive, so that's okay. So this will perform roughly identically to the 1070, which is which is itself a reasonably powerful card as well. 1660. And display on display, I think. I'm trying to open it. <laughs> there you go. Again, it's by Gigabyte. This wasn't actually my first choice. Like, huh. amazingly, what? this wasn't the cheapest. I always like Gigabyte cards because they're usually the cheapest, but this time it was a Zotac card that was the cheapest. It's a Hong Kong company, Zotac. But, like the 2600, the Zotac was out of stock. Oh my god. Oh, there we go, look see. at this. There we go, see. Ooh, it's not ooh, much different from every goodness. other build on the channel. So, there we go. There, there go. is... I actually like this design. Let me so, just check it out. It's nice, black, it's clean. And you have a backplate as well, which is kind of rare because a backplate, it's usually, like on lower end cards, you see the bare circuit at the back. Why does it have to be so good? You need the band to pull it off too because it's it generally so much heat as well. Well, this actually can be considered another tiny computer. There's memory, right? The, the, there's a CPU, in, like kind of a CPU in there, and all pretty much all the components that you need for a little computer. Wow. And so what makes GPUs... Oh, look at there this. We go. What makes GPUs different from CPUs is that they have thousands of cores, which they're so fast at rendering, like uh, video games, because all of that information can be parallelized. Right? The more cores you have, the faster the whole thing will be. Gotcha. Right? Because the work can be split up into more modules. Right? More cores, faster rendering speed. So before putting this in, we have to actually remove the, the, yeah, the PCIe brackets. In my previous videos, I kept calling them expansion slots for some reason, but they're brackets. Let's, okay, dude, let's move. All right, so we're, let's remove these plugs, insulating plugs. That's right. You have ports out here for the GPU. You have three display ports and one HDMI. And then we'll have reveal the golden fingers. There you go. Okay. So just gently place it in this. We're we're talking about this one. Right, we want to unlock that. Whoa, 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 whoa! We don't want a repeat of last time. All right. So let's gently put it in. Yep. No, 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 no. Insertion. Symmetrical force. Perfect. There we go. And then. We want to screw that last bit in. Can you get those, please, my man? Is it the, the same screw? Yep, same screws. Just, uh, you know, you want to secure the graphics card in. Oh, put, put it in there for just the magnetic thing. No, that's not magnetic. Oh! oh. 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 Is it in? I don't know. Can you help me? Okay. Yeah, there you go. That's fine. And then the last bit, the last bit is to plug this thing oh in. Oh my god. 
Oh my, oh god. my god. Oh is this the it. finale? It is. Almost. The finale. Ooh. Wait, uh, Wait. it's eight though. It's not six. Is it? Yeah, that's why we have to connect two of these together. It's not very uh it's not very user friendly, but can, can you you can if you want you can you can deal with that, yeah? Just win by one nod, relax. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, there, there we go. There we go. Ooh. 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 Hey, easy, 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 easy. Push the first push, push, push. There, there you go. go. Mm. There you go. Ooh. And uh, that's home more, home more. well. We can't do anything about it. Just let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Wow, that was. Wow, man. <laughs> that, that was actually easy, quite yeah. fast. One so. hour, thirty-nine minutes. Turn it on. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. Please also remember to hit that bell icon next to it so you don't miss any future videos. Post your questions, comments, thoughts, feedback or suggestions down in the comments below. Links to both Amazon and Newegg for all the products shown in the video including the alternative parts are available below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.